So Cyberpunk 2077 just launched version 1.62, which gives the game the amazing path tracing, but it also completely broke all my mods, including Luke Ross's real mod, which of course allows us to play Cyberpunk in VR. Now Luke usually has a, a fix out within a day or two, but apparently he's on vacation right now, so if you don't want to wait, you can simply roll back the game to the previous version. And this is a quick video to walk you through step by step on how to do this. The first thing we need to do is enable Steam Console. Just open up Steam and make sure it's the account with Cyberpunk on it. Then push Windows plus R to open up the Run app. Then type Steam Open Console just like this. Hit Enter and the Steam Console page should open up for you. Next, in your browser, go to the main Steam database page. Uh, search for Cyberpunk. You'll find the app ID right here write that down or you know copy or paste it or take a screenshot with your flip phone if you're old what, whatever you do just make sure that you get the app id now click on the depots link on the left side of the page right here we are looking for the id number of the base game just look for the massive file sizes in cyberpunk's case which is this number right here and write that down now click manifest on the side and it will take you to the manifest page just look and copy the manifest ID of the game before the last April 11th update, which is the January update right here. Now, just go back to your Steam console and type down download underscore depot, the Apple ID, the, the depot ID, and the manifest ID, and hit enter and the game should start downloading. You might see this message right here, you might not, but the game should be downloading in the background. Eventually you will get a message on the console that the download is complete. Navigate to where the message tells you that the app is saved. As you can see for me, it's D Steam, Steam Apps, Content, App 1091500, Depot 1091501. Copy all the contents of this folder and then go to your Cyberpunk install directory and paste those files in there. Just hit replace all files when the prompt asks you. Uh, now you should be able to jump back into Cyberpunk VR, no problem. I've tried it and it works fantastic. And considering all the mod folders and everything are not replaced, uh, all your mods should be working too. If you haven't played this game with AER2 and you're getting ready to, you might find these videos helpful as far as optimization goes and an app that you can use to stop the memory leak crashes with this version of the mod. And make sure to hit like and subscribe for more Cyberpunk VR help videos. And thanks for watching, Dr. Greg out.